guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. Now before I get into that, I'm pretty sure you guys are probably all wondering where the hell have you been. To put it down simply, I've started a new job and that's where I've been essentially. So because I'm working full time, I haven't had enough time to sit down and make videos. So that's why it's been a few weeks since you guys have seen me. When I go through my bag, you'll actually kind of get a hint on what my new job is. So I won't explain it right now, I'll get into that. So like I said, this is a what's in my bag. So this here is my bag. I haven't done one of these videos in like a year or two, so I figured it was time I should do one. This is my bag that I've been using for about the past at least six months. Like it's been quite a long time. This bag is by Colette Heyman. So you guys know from previous videos and just from hauls and things that I love Colette Heyman. I think it's an amazing store. This bag I believe was only like $45 or something and it is absolutely amazing. Um, considering I use it every day, it's in great condition. Like you can see it looks pretty much still brand new. Um, that's how it looks on the back by the way, just in case you're wondering, but that's how it looks on the front. So it's got that kind of similar style to my last what's in my bag which so it's got kind of that squarish shape which I definitely prefer in a bag I don't use these handles though I actually use the arm strap just because it's a lot easier but I'll get into what's in my bag so this is what it looks like from the top and as you can see along the side there are these zippers they actually do open and you can put things inside there um, I don't really use them regularly but if I'm ever traveling or something I can actually fit my iPad into there so it's kind of like a security pocket you know like people can't easily look into your bag and see that you have an iPad in there so I really like it I think it's handy but anyway on to what's in my bag now first thing on top about is my phone and this is a major reason why I'm making this video so you're probably like yeah whatever a phone but this here is the phone case that I'm using currently you're probably looking at it and going what the heck I don't know if you guys can tell but it's covered in fish and these are actually all my fish I made this case I designed it so to backtrack a little bit a couple of weeks ago or maybe even over a month ago case defy contacted me I'm sure you guys may have heard of case defy it's all over Facebook all the time like it always pops up on my feed so that's how I knew about them but they contacted me and said hey do you want to try some of our cases for free so I took them up on the opportunity they gave me three to try out and I'll explain that in a second but this was one that I designed and I think it looks unreal I actually posted this on my Instagram so you may have already seen it but um, yeah, this is my case that I've been using. If you're wondering, I made this on Photoshop. Like all you do is you make a design and you upload it and then they print it on the case for you. So I made it in Photoshop. I absolutely love it. But to backtrack about the case. So like I said, they gave me three, which um, I'll explain right now. So the way that this case works in particular, they do have the regular ones where you just pop it on your phone. But this one here is actually a separate back plate and bumper. So it looks like that. So you can actually put multiple designs in the one case which originally I wasn't a big fan of when they contacted me and said hey do you want to try this case because all of mine have been the regular like one piece ones do you know what I mean but I was like yeah whatever I'll take them up on the opportunity and I actually prefer it this way because you can change out your case a lot and the design is actually cheaper to buy it as a back plate rather than buying a whole new case over and over again does that make sense? So that's one of the designs, obviously, that I picked out. I also got this marble one, which will be very hard to see with my light, but it's just a plain white marble. And then I also got this one. So these two, obviously, are the preset designs that you can choose from their website. And this one is a custom one that I made. Obviously, this one's my favorite because I made it and it has my fish on it and they're my pride and joy. But I really, really like this system. So that's why I was like, yes, yeah, screw it. I'm going to put it in this video so that you guys can hear about it. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning them so in detail is because I'm actually giving Giving away two cases with case to fire so today is Saturday so I'm going to give you guys one week to enter all you need to do is leave a comment down below saying whether you're going to get a custom case or a preset case obviously you can pick whatever case you prefer if you want to order one of the ones where it's like one piece you can otherwise I recommend definitely these two but it's completely up to you so um, yeah in the comment let me know whether you're going to do a preset or a custom one and then next Saturday I'll pick a winner and then you get your code and you get a case for free. So that's my little giveaway for this. On to what else is in the bag. Now, as a little pre-warning, today's Saturday, like I said, I finished work yesterday and I haven't emptied my bag. So it's full of random crap, so don't judge me. First thing is my umbrella because it's about to piss down raining in Newcastle right now. So I have my umbrella in a baggie. I didn't use it though, so 
I won't worry about showing you guys that. Next thing I can grab is my wallet. Now, again, this is a Colette Heyman product. As you can see, it's a holographic design. It's going to be really hard to show you on camera. It's going to show mostly blue, but in person, it looks green, purple. It looks like every color. You can kind of see it when I move. Um, but this wallet, I swear, every time I go to pay for something, at least one person says, oh, I like your wallet. Like, it's really different. And I just realized this, but my wallet also has double zippers like my bag does. Okay, so that's a bit weird, but yeah, as I said, it's got double zippers, so in the front one I have this, which is all my cards. I have a $20 note. Wow, I'm rich. No, um, I have my license and my bank card and everything. I also have my university card still. Why do I have that? I don't even go to university. And if you guys can see, I have blonde hair in this picture. You can't really tell, but, but yeah, I also have some gift cards for some things, but this is probably my most used pocket, so I like to keep all the important stuff there. And then in the back pocket, I have all of my random stuff. So like, I've got a card to Guzman y Gomez, the Mexican place. I've got cards to Colette, ironically. Like, yeah, I've got memberships everywhere. So that's kind of where all my memberships go in that slot there. My wallet isn't that interesting, honestly. So I think the design of it looks better than it actually is inside. So yeah, that's my wallet. Next thing I can see actually gives away my new job. So it's a headset. I don't even know if I was meant to take this home yesterday, but I did. So whoops, we'll see. Um, it's a headset. So obviously I work in a call center. I'm not going to go too much into it because I don't want to, I guess, give away where I work. And also I've only been there for a short amount of time. So um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but yeah, I work in a call center. Next thing is probably the worst hairbrush of all time. So it's one of those little travel brushes. It pops out like that. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like one of those pop out ones in your brush. It's seriously the worst brush though. Like it pulls your hair out. So I don't know why I still have this. Um, but yeah, sometimes, it, oh, my hair's a bit messy. See, see what I mean? Next thing I can grab are two power banks. I don't know why I have two, but I have two. And also the cord for it. I'm always prepared to have a flat battery because it's seriously the worst thing ever. Like, I remember one time when I went to Sydney and I was on the train and my phone died. I thought, oh my God, if I get murdered on this train, no one's gonna know about it. Like, that's the most dramatic thing I could have thought of, but that's seriously what I thought of. So I like to have these charged and ready to go all the time. Another cord, I don't know what this is for. So actually it's probably for the charging bank to charge them. So I better keep them together. Then we have a couple of notes. We have a receipt to Goldberg's on <laughs> Derby Street in Newcastle. Then I have, oh my God, then I have a little post-it. It's obviously not my writing, it's Jake's writing, I'm pretty sure. And it has our shopping list for the week. So I'm guessing that's really old, I better throw that away. By the way, if you haven't been to Goldberg's, definitely go, it's on Derby Street. Now that's like the bulk of my bag emptied. It actually looks really dirty, so I'm gonna clean it after this video. There's like glitter and hair and dirt. Into the zipper now. So there's a little zipper compartment inside the bag where I like to put all of my, just the stuff that I want to hide. So for example, we have two tampons, just in case, you never know. I don't know why I have two, but two tampons. I also have a little Blistex cover thing. It has hair on it, ew. But this just goes on your ankles or wherever you have a blister um, to protect your ankle throughout the day. I actually needed this the other day. That's why I've got it in here now. But like right now. Can I show you guys? Oh, can you see that? Can you see my band-aid? I don't know if you can. You just saw my pajamas, but whatever. And then I also have some Swispers facial wipes, I believe they are. Yeah, I think these are really handy to have in your bag. You never know when you need something like this, not just for removing makeup, but even just as like a wipe if you've spilled something all over yourself. So I think there's only like, yeah, there's only five in here, but it's definitely handy to have. That's everything in the little zipper part. And then the last thing that I have is some chewing gum, which looks grubby, but that's my chewing gum. My bag's actually really boring now that I think about it. Now you're probably wondering, you know, where do you have any makeup in your bag or anything? Now, because obviously I work in a call center, no one actually sees my face. So I don't really care about touching my makeup throughout the day. Like I will do it in the morning like this and then I'll just go to work and that is how it's going to be for the rest of the day. I don't like to touch it up or anything because there's no point, like no one's gonna see it. So but yeah, that's everything in my bag. So my bag is now empty. Not the most interesting what's in my bag, but at least it's real. <laughs> like it's something that's really in my bag. So that's it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this. Do make sure that you enter in the case to fire little contest that I'm having. Yeah, I don't want to talk about too much, but yeah, I'll have all of that down below. But anyways, that's everything for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this. Don't know when I'll see you guys next, but hopefully it'll be sometime in the near future. Bye.